here I got a large package so let's open it oh Grüezi youtubers here is the guy with the Swiss accent with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers remember if you subscribe you will always sit in the first row nice a Raspberry Pi laptop now we all know that the Raspberry Pi Foundation said that the new Pi 4 can be used as a desktop and this is even better a Raspberry Pi 4 laptop now frequent viewers might remember Crow Pi is the second edition and I had once one two years ago or so also a nice device it is not only a laptop it is also for experimenting and I gave this first edition to the son of one of my colleagues and he liked it very much so let's unpackage it and see what what's in so the how to use and so on now the most important thing of course looks really <laughs> like a laptop compared with my surface very similar in size this is my professional one and this is then uh, the hobby one now something I cannot do with my surface is to open it oh nice oh now it's quite heavy here so we have plenty of stuff i have to zoom in a little bit displays leds another display a fan which is probably necessary for the raspberry pi 4 keypad potentiometer, PIR, microphone, distance meter, temperature, vibration, a buzzer, plenty of different stuff here. I see the Raspberry Pi below this fan here. Oh, it's not a disk drive, it's just to put in things. Here we see the Raspberry Pi, but we can not see the SD card so let's switch it on and see what happens so let's plug it in switch it on the pi sign here oh crow pi 2 so it seems that the raspberry pi is already built in now I had to play around a little bit. First thing was I had to find the Bluetooth adapter here in the mouse and plug it in to the Raspberry. And now the mouse works and this is also a Bluetooth keyboard and you switch it on here. And now they work. Very good. Now you have two desktops, the simple one and the one we all know and here you can of course do whatever you want with a raspberry so it's a normal raspberry with a, a nice display i think this will be my my normal screen and maybe i will use it to build a sdr receiver because i can take it with me on my roof and so on that looks like nice it seems also that you can put in maybe here a battery if you want to return it's here and you have plenty of projects for beginner which work together with these different electronic parts and you get even more stuff like resistors uh, switches and so on probably for here and you get also here is a stepper motor this is very similar to the last time and here you even have RFIDs and 
IR experiments. So it's really a lot of stuff. And of course, a servo. So let's check one of these projects. Make an alarm when someone moves close to your CrowPy 2. So start. The buzzer will alarm if somebody moves around the PIR sensors located on the Pi. So I run it. Whoa. It works. We can do distance measurement, also run, and I assume it works with this one here. So 19 centimeters, 8 centimeters, works fine. Nice experiment. Stop, back. It's nicely made. A lucky turntable, what is that? No stepper motor, too complicated. Ultrasonic music, a theremin. I should do a theremin since a long time for one of my colleagues. I never made it, so let's try if this one works. Run. Now the sound is not... <laughs> Uh, a loudspeaker instead of a buzzer would have been a nice addition here. In the 80s we would have said disco effect here. But of course, if you're experienced, then you can go on with this one. And you see here, they even have built in a Arduino IDE, so you can also learn to program here. So it's, a, it's, an, interesting, it's an interesting combination from simple things like also like Scratch, uh, they have uh, Minecraft here, other games, stuff like that. And up to Arduino and even in the end uh, you can do Python programming and stuff like that. So it's for every age something. Even for 63 year old. All in all, I like this thing, definitely. This one I will keep for myself. I will not give it away. The CrowPi 2 is currently a Kickstarter campaign with some early bird offers. The laptop including a basic set of sensors without a Raspberry starts at $170. Including a 4GB Pi 4 it costs $250. For me this seems to be a perfect timing for a Christmas gift. As always you find all the relevant links in the description. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. Thank you. Bye.